Welcome back to Range Time with Ghost. We're talking here now a little bit about in ACE, the community dashboard and the performance dashboard. A lot of people have a lot of questions about what these new dashboards are. And as a version 12.1.1, this is currently how they work in my understanding of them. I'm not employed by ACE. I don't know anything about the back end. I just like to experiment with things and see how they work. So the first thing that we want to see over here is our community dashboard consists of my username, my rank, my level in ACE, and enable multiplayer toggle, which we'll get into, and the question mark that tells us shooting is more fun with friends. If you want to do multiplayer, as I just showed you, the toggle here goes from red to green. When you do that, and you click on the background of the community dashboard, it'll take you to the friends tab or the groups tab. We want to go to multiplayer though because we want to play with friends, right? So you'll see here my room code uh, based on multiplayer, right? We've got allow friends turned on, multiplayer is enabled, all is good. I can give them this room code here, they can join my room, but I like to make my room codes customizable so people can find them easier. You can do so by clicking into the select room, join a room, click into that, and you can type whatever you want. So long as it's a couple of letters, right? Boom, works, right? You hit enter. And it'll actually join you to that room and say, here's your new room code, right? So now you're in that room. So when people use this room code, they can join you. At any time, if you want to leave the room, simple as that. Go back to the hut and click leave room, right? If we want to turn off multiplayer, enable to allow friends, you're now offline. Okay. We can always return to dashboard. Right here, if we want to look at my groups, we can look at the ones that I've joined. And you can find groups here by the text, right? You can search USPS. Okay. brings those up right and you can click join here if they're open or available to you I've already joined the USPSA group so we can go into about leave a learn a little bit about the group and if I've joined too many groups I can actually leave the group anytime when I open up the about of the group so if we go back to my groups and let's say I wanted to learn more about the ace and discord group it's so like that I can leave the group if I want to choose to the reason why you want to join groups is when you look at the community leaderboards when you've shot in a drill, you can actually compare yourself to that group. So say, I want to compare myself to fellow instructors. When I shoot a drill, I can select them from the drop down and then I can see where I stack up if any of the instructors in that group have shot that drill that week with practice or if they shot it with lead using a ranked run, I can compare myself to them for the season. So we've returned to the dashboard. Let's talk about the performance dashboard. This is new. Uh, I think it's version 12 came out. But essentially, this is where your performance over time is shown, right? As you can see here, my season rank average is 148. And you can see where I'm going from platinum to diamond. If I level up to 160 points, ACE points, ACE scoring, out of, uh, by using my ranked runs, I'm going to probably be diamond at that point. There's a score above diamond, 171 plus points over here we can see, will become an ace shooter, right? Accuracy, precision, and speed is changed weekly. It's showing that this week, my accuracy, precision, and speed have all suffered a little bit compared to last week. And it shows my average ace sh score across all runs, whether those are practice runs or they are um, ranked runs, that's my average ace score. So. If someone has a high season rank average, but their ACE score is really, 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 really low, they're probably gaming it um, using that lead for easy drills without trying to test themselves. You can see here, last week, all of my stuff is outlined here in blue, so I had a little bit more speed, a little bit more precision, and a little bit more accuracy. If we click on the question mark here, it'll actually go into detail a little bit more about my performance uh, stats here and give you some idea of what these mean, right? Precision is going to be how close were you to the A zone or how, how close were you to the target that you were intending to hit, K zone in some targets. Accuracy, how many shots were misses compared to how many shots were hits. And speed, how fast were you shooting the targets. When we click on the background here, we'll see it opens up my skills tab. Again, username, level, we talked about that in a previous episode, my average ACE user score. Here's where currently in 12.1.1, you can enable guest mode. So if you have a friend who's new to ACE or perhaps some children, for the next 60 minutes, 
it won't track the metrics so it doesn't impact your accuracy precision speed ace score right um, you can go ahead and click there and enable guest mode so if you want to go buck wild for a while and do stuff that you don't normally do yeah go ahead and use pause the metrics for 60 minutes just be mindful that after 60 minutes it's going to start tracking again when we go up to here to season we can again see my progress towards a diamond rank uh, my last few stages that I had ranked runs on Texas Steel fast and careful 22422 you can see my A score and again I'm looking to get above a 160 toward to improve my rank really anything above a 148 will improve my ranking um, we can see here on Texas Steel probably had a bad draw or some other impact here and it actually shows me compared to my average on this stage I've actually performed below my average fast and careful however performed above my average Currently, there's a little bug. It's not a big deal where it's showing a, I believe this is um, steel rank. We look over here. Yep, steel's the lowest. It's not silver, so yeah, it's a steel rank. It's just a bug because my A score is at 182, which puts me at the ace or diamond level. Um, just hasn't updated uh, on the back end, it seems, for this little graphic here. But when it does its calculations, it is actually doing it as if its A score is the 182 diamond or whatever rank so not anything really to worry about in here you can go back through a lot of history by selecting this little toggle over here you can either use the half trigger press or use the I believe it's a B button it's the closest button here to your grip on the uh, controller so you can reach up and go through I think it's like your past 20 stages but it'll give you a good idea of where you've been shooting at okay And that is really it for the dashboard. In another session, we're going to be talking about ace ranking. Why it really doesn't matter so much, but if you're in a gamification and want to see your score go higher on the board, uh, I'll give you a couple of tips on how to do that. Thanks.